Well, a book that's organized by mechanism is really distinct from books that are organized according to functional groups. Um, most or organic uh, undergraduate chemistry textbooks are in fact organized uh, according to functional groups, where after some introductory chapters, uh, functional group books will go into chapters that focus really on a single functional group or maybe a couple related functional groups at a time. There will be a chapter maybe on alkenes, a chapter on alkynes, maybe another on alkyl halides, um, perhaps a couple on ketones and aldehydes, uh, carboxylic acids and their derivatives, and, and one on amines. In each of, uh, of, of those uh, chapters on reactions, discussions will typically begin with aspects of nomenclature, uh, basic structure and physical properties. There might be some aspects of spectroscopy involving uh, functional groups uh, in those chapters as well. Uh, and then the chapter will present methods uh, on synthesizing those compounds with those functional groups. And then, uh, you know, with that, the, the chapter will proceed to go in depth into some of uh, the, uh, the reactions and the mechanisms that those functional groups undergo. Uh, and, and those reactions that the functional groups undergo typically proceed by uh, mechanisms that vary pretty widely. So as you can see, uh, in a single functional group chapter, a student will probably see many different themes. Uh, and, and seeing the many different themes like that uh, can, can be a bit overwhelming for some students. In a book that's organized by mechanism, there is a single theme in each reaction chapter, and that theme is the mechanism itself. Reactions that proceed by a certain type of mechanism will be found in the same chapter. So rather than a chapter on maybe alkyl halides, for example, you'll find a chapter on nucleophilic substitution. And in a chapter like that, you'll see a variety of different functional groups participating in that one type of uh, mechanism, which might include alkyl halides, alcohols and ethers, ketones and aldehydes, uh, carboxylic acids and amines. And in books that are organized according to functional group, those represent reactions that are normally scattered throughout an entire book. The main advantage of organizing organic chemistry according to mechanisms is really that it gives a, a student time to focus on a single theme at a time. In a reaction chapter, that theme uh, is a single mechanism. In other chapters, uh, that single theme might be nomenclature, it might be physical properties and spectroscopy, uh, or synthesis. With a single focus at a time, Students are more comfortable digesting the material, and furthermore, with a single mechanism in each reaction chapter, students will be better able to see similarities among reactions that, maybe at first glance, don't seem quite clo uh, closely related at all. In short, the advantage really is better understanding of organic chemistry.